Hey guys, Steel Pot here. Um, I think about a week ago I put out a poll on which video you guys wanted to see me make next, and this one won. This is my entire military uniform collection. Uh, most of this has come from family members who served in the military, but some of it I've just purchased myself. Um, so I guess getting right into the video, I'm going to start with uh, Vietnam stuff. These are actual uh, originals. These are just reproductions, but I figured I'd throw them in as an example. These are second pattern fatigues, reproductions, and uh, I really like them. They're by What Price Glory. Uh, second off, these are all of original. Um, I've got my full ERDLs. Uh, I've got a cap dated, I think, 68. Yep. And I've got... A top, dated 69, with a USMC stamping, and bottoms, also dated 69. Those are really cool. I bought these myself because these were the type of fatigues my grandpa wore when he was in the Marines. Um, next up are my grandpa's things. Uh, he brought these back. They're just not this. This is just a post-war cap. But um, I've got a bunch of third pattern fatigues. These are all originals, I think dated 68 to 70, but uh, yep, they're all pretty nice. There's more pants than there are uh, shirts. These ones are really salty. They've got rips. The back pockets are missing the top part flap, but uh, these are all really cool. They got his name stamped on there or stenciled in, so uh, I really like these a lot. I guess it saved me some money having to buy them in the future. Next up is a marine overcoat. I have no proof that really anyone ever wore these in country. This is just part of a dress uniform. So, uh, yeah, it's pretty nice. I mean, it's got the USMC buttons. Let me see if it's got a date on here. One sec. Probably not. Yeah, but uh, USMC overcoat. He also brought that back. He just pretty much gave me a big duffel bag full of his stuff. So that was pretty cool. I might do a video on everything he gave me later. Uh, down to dress uniforms, I've got two uh, dress shirts with ties, private rankings, or PFC maybe. I haven't really figured that out much yet. Then we've got uh, the overcoats uh, with a garrison cap. I think these are all dated 1970. The garrison cap does not, the tag was removed. But uh, these are pretty wrinkly. He had them bunched up in the duffel bag, like I said. So I tried to steam this one out a little, but this one is really wrinkly. Uh, sorry if it's hard to see everything. I just threw everything on my new shelter halves. Uh, here's the uh, cap. It doesn't have the uh, cardboard in it to keep its shape. I don't know why, but apart from that, it's nice. It's got the EGA on there. I got to find something to put in there. Here's the other uniform. It's got the ranks on it, but this one's really wrinkly, and it's missing a few buttons here and there. But that's really all of my uh, Vietnam uniforms, mostly Marine dress uniforms and uh utilities but it's still pretty cool knowing it came from family next up i've got coast guard stuff from uh, world war ii so my great grandpa served in the coast guard in world war ii uh not sure where exactly but that's what i know so my grandpa who gave me all of his vietnam stuff also gave me this because that was his dad so starting off, I've got a pea coat in pretty good condition, apart from the fact it's missing a few buttons, but who cares? This fits me perfectly. All of this Coast Guard stuff fits me perfectly. He must have been a pretty small guy, but I might do a short and me wearing some of it, but yeah, he was a pretty small dude. Next, I'm not sure what these are since I don't really specialize in World War II and definitely not World War II Coast Guard, but it's kind of like a wool... I guess it would be equivalent to a fatigues, maybe. It's not like a dress uniform or anything, but I don't know. That's just my guess. And here's some pants that go to it. Moving on over here, we've got some more of those. You see it's got a name stamped on there. I guess I'm, that's what I'm guessing. It's the equivalent to fatigues. It's got a tag on there. Naval Clothing Company. Some more pants. This is just a modern uh, cap dated, I think, 2006. Yeah, but... um. Here's another uh, top, fatigue top. I'm just going to call them fatigue tops. Here's moving into the nicer clothes. It's a little bit faded, but 
I'm not sure if this would be more of a dress uniform. Like I said, don't take my word on any of this. I don't really know about the Coast Guard World War II, but it's got some more uh, stuff on there, and it's a different material. Uh, some pants that go along with it right there, same material. And lastly, the really nice uniform that was hanging up, so it's like not really wrinkled at all. This is almost too small for me, so I might actually have to do a short in uh, these, but this is the dress dressier uniform. It's got like the rank on it and stuff. I don't know what the rank is. I don't do Navy or Coast Guard research much, but uh, that's all the Coast Guard stuff. Lastly, um, I've got my other great-grandfather who served in the Army's uh, World War II dress uniform. So this is cool because I did a bunch of research and found out what everything on this means. So uh, Staff Sergeant Presidential Citation for his unit, which was the 87th Infantry Division Lightning. And his regiment was 311th uh, Timberwolves. Then he's got a combat infantryman's badge. From the research I've done, he served from late 44 to 45. So I'm pretty sure he was maybe in the Battle of Hurtgen Forest and the Battle of Imagen. I'm not 100% sure, but I'm pretty sure. Uh, just, uh, some medals there. Medals there. That's, uh, I think, ca campaign campaigns in Europe and World War II victory medal, but I'm not sure what these two are yet. But, uh, yeah, so this is in really nice condition. I like this uniform a lot. So, uh, I guess here's, I guess, all my military uniforms. Hey, guys. So, uh, I was editing the video and realized I forgot to include some things. Firstly, uh, I'm not sure if this is really a military uniform, but this is just my party jacket from Vietnam. And, uh, some, I guess, oops, Vietnamese pants. So, those are really cool. I've never seen anyone else with one of those, some of those. Next up, I've just, I forgot to include uh, my matching utilities. I didn't show off the pants, so those are two matching. This one's a little bit more faded, which is nice. Um, and last thing I forgot to include was uh, when my grandpa brought back all this stuff in duffel bags. This was in here, so it's a Vietnam-era hamper, so I really liked that. So I just got this hanging in here with all my uh, undergarments, like underwear, t-shirts, and uh, socks. But uh, if you guys want me to do any more videos, I guess, in depth on any of these uniforms, let me know in the comments. But uh, this is going to be the video, guys. So uh, thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.